Hey guys, it's Wendy. Let's talk about some keto things. Okay, so Halo Top and Rebel Ice Cream. It's time for the challenge. I already know who's the winner, but we're just gonna pretend like a doll. So Halo Top, I've purchased pretty much every single flavor. I think about nine, maybe 10, um, from three different national chains. And so I know that my um, decision slash opinion about Halo Top isn't me, it's, it's you. <laughs> so I wonder where I'm going with this video. And then Rebel Ice Cream, I saw it on Keto Connect and I went to their website and I thought, I'm gonna have some shipped. It's like five or six dollars, five ninety nine, dollars I think, per pint to have it shipped. And then the shipping was like $16. And then I was on my little um, shipped or Instagram, uh, Instacart, and they showed that Publix had it. So I scooted to Publix, I was like, Arrgh! and I went and saw, and they had three flavors, and they were out of chocolate. So chocolate must be bomb. Um, yeah. Okay, so. I have four spoons because I don't want to double dip for my sweet family who might want to eat after me. And I'm a little, little you know, choky a little bit today. We're going to start with Halo Top ice cream. By the way, both brands say, give me a couple minutes on the counter before you dig in. We will know. We all know best things take time. Well, your girl cannot wait, okay? Now, I've waited for this video because you can see there's a little bit of... Um, condensation right there. I've waited for this video 15 minutes, but in real life, come on. No, I'm not waiting 15 minutes. If I'm, if I'm thinking about ice cream, I'm jumping, running to the freezer, ready to eat it. I'm not going to sit on the counter for 15 minutes and then come back. Like I can't do that. That's not, that's not a thing. Okay. So we're going to start with peanut butter cup and this one's already been opened before. And you hear that? It's a little crunchy sounding, but ooh, it smells good though. It smells really good. Oh, oh, by the way, 14 total carbs, three dietary fibers, six carbs, five sugar alcohols that are the good kind. So you can say this is 14 minus eight. That is six, <laughs> six net carbs per half cup. There's four servings per container. So I'm gonna try this. The only issue is, okay, it has a good taste. The texture is so wrong. The texture is like frost burnt grit sand garbage and I can't take it. I just cannot take it. And I wish that the 15 minutes on the counter rest time solved the problems, but it doesn't. But the taste is good. And no, actually, I think I see a little peanut butter flake in here. That's kind of exciting. So yeah. So I guess you know what I'm going to say about the chocolate chip cookie dough. But let's just try it just in case. So... Yes, I've had it before, and it has little brown dots in it that make you think they're chocolate chips. I don't really know if they are. Um, so it's also a little bit slushy. Taste is good. Texture, again, ruins it for me. Now, if there was no such thing as Rebel ice cream, I probably would think this was amazing. And maybe that's why people think it's so amazing because it was before Rebel Ice Cream came out and before they have it at your local Publix. I'm gonna move these to the side. And we're gonna focus on these beauties right here. These beauties. Okay, so I've tried the salted caramel. It was bomb. Natural vanilla. I'm gonna open it up for the first time. And it's got this cute little packaging seal on it that says, yummy things come to those who wait. I wonder where that came from. For the creamiest ice cream, let your pint soften for at least 15 minutes. And I have. This one, I did not soften it for 15 minutes and it was still bomb. It was good. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off. Put that down. Get me a new spoon. And vanilla is actually my favorite ice cream flavor of all time, which I know that might make me a little boring and a little basic, but that's just me. So I'm gonna kinda get me a big old spoonful. Sorry if I make noises. Okay, call me crazy. But this tastes just like an ice cream, vanilla ice cream cone from McDonald's. Of course, without the cone. It is very creamy. This one was very creamy too. Very delicious. And the texture is absolutely amazing. It doesn't have that gritty, sandy, freezer burnt stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm having a second bite. Is that good? So good. So this one...
it says there's four servings per container. I didn't actually realize that. There, there's still four servings per container in this. What the cool thing is, is this says five net carbs per pint. So basically how they're doing that is 10 total carbs, two dietary fibers, and seven grams of urethritol. Urethritol. I can't know if I, I can't know if I'm saying that right. Help me out. Apparently that's the good sugar that the good fake sugar that you can have. Um, ingredients are cream, water, erythritol, chicory root, fiber, egg yolks, vegetable glycerin, milk protein, blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, monk fruit and contains milk and egg. Okay, so here's the deal. I do have a slight coating in my mouth, but it's probably because it's so thick and so creamy. And I, uh, while I'm breathing, I can still feel the coating in my mouth, which is a little bit weird. But if you're on keto and you want some ice cream, this is the real deal. As close as keto can be. Uh, okay, so the weird thing that I didn't realize about this is that there's still four servings per container and they're still half cup serving size. When I read this in the front, the five grams net carbs per pint, I thought it was for the whole pint. So I was kind of fooled a little bit, but that's okay. At least we know how to read, right? So four servings for, for container. Blah, blah, blah. Calories are 130 calories per serving. So times four is four or 520. I could be wrong. Sorry if I'm wrong. So it's still bet. Is that better? Four times 90? Four. No, it's not better in calories. So if you're watching calories with your keto, which we kind of should be, um, this might not be the best, but it's so good. Okay, so I just want to kind of give this one a round of applause. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but the three flavors that they had at the first Publix that I ever went to was the salted caramel, the vanilla, and the chocolate. The chocolate was sold out. They had none. The space, the little sticker was there, but the space was gone. So either that means it's really good and everybody wants it, or there was a recall. <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't a recall. All right, so now, <clears throat> last flavor we're going to try. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> the salted caramel. I've already tried it. It's amazing. Look, here's my little evidence right here. It's so creamy, and it's got little thick slivers of, swirls of uh, caramel in here. And it smells just like it, and it tastes like it. I don't actually know if it is caramel. I should probably read the ingredients. Chicory root, natural caramel flavors, some kind of gum, monk fruit. So yeah, I don't actually see any ingredients that makes me think it's pure caramel, but it tastes like it. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, this one, this one, I go to McDonald's too much apparently. This one reminds me of a caramel sundae from McDonald's. And I didn't think about that before. I wasn't trying to think of anything but enjoying my ice cream before. So... I, these are so good, you guys. And if you don't have a Publix that carries these, this Rebel ice cream, ask them to. And if they still don't do it, you can order it from Rebel's website. You can actually get a case of assorted flavors. And I think they have a lot more flavors than just the three that I mentioned. They can ship you a case with free shipping. And I think it's like six bucks each um, per, per pint. So I, I think a case is eight. It could be 12. I don't know. But I, I was seriously going to do it because I wanted to try this ice cream so bad because Keto Connect said such good things about it. And they weren't lying. They were not lying. I don't actually know if they like Halo Top anymore that there is such thing as Rebel. But anyways, long story short, Rebel ice cream is the way to go. You've got to try it. It's so good, especially if you don't like texture issues. And if, if, if it's me, if I'm crazy, if this is just a bad batch, let me know. And Halo Top, send me your good stuff because I'm ready to try it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see other kind of videos like me testing eyelashes or whatever, check out my other channel in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.